Hello and welcome to the January webinar on current and upcoming grant programs for fruit and veg farmers. Um, oops, I'm Melissa Higgins. I'm an extension specialist in ag business management with the Cornell Cooperative Extension's Eastern New York Commercial Hort team. And uh, this is my contact information if you have questions after this webinar. Um, so let's get going. So first I want to cover um, some grant programs that have deadlines coming up really soon. Um, the first one is the New York's Grown and Certified Program for Agricultural Producers, um, the marketing program. The next one is the New York Grown and Certified Marketing Program for Retail Establishments, for those of you who may have farm stands or farmers markets. The third one is the New York Grown and Certified Farmer Grant. The fourth one is the Labor Ready Farmer HR Technical Assistance Grant, um, which is sponsored by the Cornell Small Farms Program. And finally, I'm just going to cover briefly, um, Orange County Cooperative Extension has a farm labor housing cost share program. So the first one, um, and the deadline is just coming up in a couple of days, the New York State Grown and Certified Marketing Program for Agricultural Producers. Um, so this is for people who um, are in the New York State Grown and Certified Program. Um, it's to offer um, food and beverage producers um, funding to do new um, logos, new marketing materials that feature the New York State Grown and Certified logo on it. Um, the total funding available statewide for this program is about $250,000. Um, the max, maximum grant that a farmer could re um, receive for this is $5,000. Um, and you can only get um, one grant per funding round. Um, so it sounds like, even though the deadline is coming up, that there may be additional rounds of this program in the future. So if you miss the deadline, this is something to sort of keep your eye on um, going forward. There is no cost share program, no cost share requirement for this grant. Um, this is a really good grant for those of you who are in the program or are planning to join the program soon. Um, to help you maybe just develop, you know, pay a graphic designer to help design new labels or upgrade your um, labels and point of sale materials in order to be more attractive, um, more sturdy, more um, available for um, like UPC codes or, or things like that that maybe make you more ready for retail marketing even. So it's even though the primary purpose is to be able to put the New York State Grown and Certified logo on your, your marketing materials and to help sort of upgrade you that way, the fund, the $5,000 can really like maybe jumpstart and improve your, your overall um, labels and marketing materials. So it's a, it could be a very useful grant for some of you. Um, if you have a farm stand or farmer's market, there's also a similar program to um, fund retailers to increase the marketing and promotional activities that um, help build awareness for New York State grown and certified products. So if you need um, display shelves, um, bins, things to like really, you know, marketing um, displays and things, things that can help you sort of promote um, the products in your store that are New York State grown and certified. Um, this could be a good grant for you for that. Um, you can receive um, $10,000 per category. So there's two different categories. One is the fruit, veg category, um, wine, hard cider, nursery products. And then the other category is dairy, livestock, or shell shellfish products. Um, so you could get up to $20,000 totals if you're a store that maybe has both kinds. Um, but definitely, um, you know, if you're only selling fruit and vegetable or you're just a wine um, retailer, um, then you can only apply up to $10,000. There is no match or cost share requirement. And for both this grant and the farmer grant that I just mentioned, you would go to the um, New York certified.newyork.gov backslash funding dash opportunities um, in order to find the application materials for that. Um, another one that's coming up um, is the New York State Grown and Certified Farmer Grant. Um, this is a grant whose purpose is to help growers meet um, food safety standards necessary for them to participate in New York State Grown and Certified. Um, so you have to be applying to the New York State Grown and Certified Program or already be enrolled in the program. Um, so you, every single commodity has different rules as far as um, food safety standards, environmental standards. So um, you would need to find out what's required to enroll your product in the program and see whether it's something that you feel like you want to do or can do. Um, so the first step would be to apply. 
Um, the next step, once you've applied, would be if you haven't gotten, if it's required and you haven't gotten an AEM um, Tier 2 um, certification, you would contact Soil and Water to participate in that program. Um, and that's an environmental program, and so that would help you meet the environmental standards component of the New York State Grown and Certified Program. And then you also have to be able to meet, meet food safety standards um, to participate. And this, is, this grant can then help with that. So let's just say um, you need upgraded coolers in order to meet temperature standards, or you need uh, better wash stations, or you need a bathroom, you know, so you're closer by so your workers can wash their hands, things like that. Um, so whatever is sort of you know, is your barrier to being able to meet the food safety standards, this grant then can help with that. Um, and then once you, if you receive the funding, you have to stay in the New York State Grown and Certified Program for I think five years after you've received the funding um, or pay back the funds. Um, this grant was actually given out by to regional councils in order to administer. So you need to first look to see um, what region your county would be in to see who you would apply to for the funding. Um, you can apply for up to $50,000 for the project, and you have to then also be able to provide at least 10% of the project cost, either in grant or loan, or, or if you have another grant um, that's not a state grant. Um, so if it's a, you know, if you're, if you're going to, you know, you need to be doing at least a $60,000 project in order to receive $50,000 in funds. Um, so right now, um, Fulton Montgomery, if you're in Fulton Montgomery, Herkimer, Oneida, Otsego, or Schoharie, they are actively taking applications. Um, and you would go to the CCE Oneida County website to find the application. If you're in Columbia, Albany, Green, Montgomery, Rensselaer, and Schenectady, the deadline is February 8th, um, and you would go to the um, HVADC, Hudson Valley Agribusiness Development Council, I think, or corporation. Um, so HVADC.org, um, and then look under New York State Grown and Certified. So you have until February 8th for them. Um, Jefferson, Lewis, St. Lawrence, Clinton, Essex, Franklin, and Hamilton counties. I didn't see a deadline on their site. Um, and that's a, a regional council in northern New York. It's um, www.danc.org backslash business development is where you would find the application. Unfortunately, if you're in the lower Hudson Valley, Dutchess, Orange, Putnam, Rockland, Sullivan, Ulster, Westchester, um, CCE Dutchess County is administering it and they closed their application process as of December. Um, so right now they're not taking applications for this grant program. Um, that could change at some point, depending on what happens with the applications that they receive. But at this point, it's not, they're not accepting any. Uh, the next grant, um, and this is a project that I'm actually involved with, is the um, Cornell Small Farms Program um, has USDA beginning farmer grant funding um, to provide, provide technical assistance to farmers who want to improve human resource management practices on their farm. Um, the grant can provide up to $1,200 for direct technical assistance on your farm to make human resource or management improvements in dealing with employees. Um, things that could be funding could be used for would be assistance with paperwork, you know, so if you need processes, um, if you want somebody to help you figure out um, what you need to do to comply with um, labor regulations and laws, um, development of employee manuals and policies or review of your employee manuals and policies, um, H2A readiness assessment for your farm, assistance with developing training programs or assessment materials for your employees. So there's a wide variety of things, but the goal of the overall grant is to help you be a, a better manager of your employees. Um, eligible applicants are beginning farmers or farm owners, so if you've owned your farm for 10 years or less. Next-gen farmers who are moving into managerial roles, so that would be somebody who's the child of a farmer or a relative of a farmer who's going to be the next generation on the farm and they're now becoming they're becoming a manager and this would help them um, improve their skills but also would benefit the farm um, farm managers on a farm who plan to own a farm whether they're part of the succession process for that farm or they have plans um, within the foreseeable future to start their own farm they would need to have the support of the current farm owner because the project would have to be on that farm um, they're reviewing applications right now, um, and we'd be reviewing them into February 2019. We would be accepting farmers into the project until the funds are fully obligated. 
So if you're interested in this um, technical assistance funding, um, you would go to the Cornell Small Farms Program, which is smallfarms.cornell.edu, and then backslash projects and backslash labor ready farmer. Um, so if you Google labor ready farmer, you should also be able to find this grant. Um, and the application process is not onerous. Um, another funding um, opportunity, if you are in Orange County, New York, that's coming up soon is the um, Orange County Farm Worker Housing Rehabilitation Program. And this is funding um, that Orange County uses from their um, HUD Community Development Block Grant Program to help farmers in Orange County um, maintain or rehabilitate farm worker housing. The application deadline for this is February 4th. Um, and I put the wrong, um, actually I, looking here, I, I copied and pasted. You would actually go to the um, Orange County Office of Community Development um, to find the application. Um, you, they provide um, grants not to exceed 75% of the cost, so you have to be able to put at least a 25% rehabilitate, 25% match um, requirement. Um, so anyway, this is a good opportunity if you're in Orange County. Um, so come in soon. Um, so these are ones where the deadline isn't imminent, but it's, it is coming up. Um, it's the Rural Energy for America program. It's the Renewal Energy Systems and Energy Efficiency Grant and Loan. Um, it's USDA Rural Development is the funder. Um, the deadline would be April 1st. Um, if you're just applying for the loan, not the grant, you can apply anytime. So you're not subject to that April 1st deadline, but if you want the loan funding, you have to apply by April 1st. This grant provides guaranteed loan financing um, and grant funding to agricultural producers or rural small businesses to either purchase or install renewable energy systems or to make energy efficiency impro improvements. One use I've seen for these funds, for example, um, when I used to work a lot with maple producers was um, several producers were successful in receiving the grant funding towards a reverse osmosis system since that reduced the energy requirements quite a bit for uh, making maple syrup. Um, if you're an ag business, at least 50% of your gross income um, has to come from agricultural operations for that ag business. Um, so for example, if you're a winery, 50% would have to come from the agricultural part, um, not the, um, you know, not like weddings or other things like that. Um, or you could be a small business as long as you're in a rural area, so less than 50,000 people. Um, the grant maximum is 25% of the eligible project costs. Um, the maximum grant for an energy system, so that would be like solar or a digester, would be $500,000. So that would mean the total project cost then would be a $2 million project. And the maximum grant for an energy efficiency improvement would be 250,000. So the maximum um, grant project would be a million dollars. So for many of you, that's, that's, those are really large um, grants. Um, and then the combined grant and loan funding um, would be up to 75% of the total eligible project costs. Um, however, the nice thing about this project is there's also a small project track where that's much more streamlined um, much more um, easy to apply for if the project, the total project is $20,000 or less. Then there's an expedited application process and some allocation of funding for those small projects. Um, if this sounds like something that would be useful for you, if you're thinking about installing solar, if you're thinking about upgrading your coolers or your lighting or, you know, other types of energy efficiency um, projects, um, you can get your application from the state USDA Rural Development Office. Um, and to find out where that is, you would go to www.rd, that's ruraldevelopment.usda.gov backslash New York. Um, our main office is in Syracuse. And I've also, from growers I've talked to who've used this, you would work closely with the Rural Development Office in the application. So they will assist you with this um, and help guide you to determine whether or not your project is really viable for this grant funding or not. So this is a really good program. Okay, no deadline at all. Um, I'm gonna cover organic certification cost share and gap certification cost share. So these are available until there's no more money, but there isn't a fixed deadline for these grants. Organic certification, um, you would go through your USDA Farm Service Administration County office. Um, so it's a USDA grant, and the purpose is to provide cost share to farmers 
who want to either obtain or renew their certification under the National Organic Program. Um, you can receive up to 75% of your certification cost, um, not to exceed $750 per certification scope. Um, so what that could mean is, is, you know, maybe your farm is certified, but you also process, and that would be a different scope um, for organic certification. Um, if you want to apply, you would contact your USDA FSA office um, and, and find out more. Um, the next grant would be the Good Agricultural Practices Certification Assistance Program, and they've actually increased, um, if you've used this in the past, um, they've increased it from $750,000 to $1,000. Um, this is New York State Department of Ag and Markets, and it's to help growers receive good agricultural practice certification by reimbursing uh, growers and handlers of the cost up to $1,000 for either GAP or a good handling product, practice audits, as well as the costs of water testing, because um, water is a limiting factor for, for many producers. Um, funding for this program is available on a first come, first serve basis, um, and it's, ultimately it's provided by USDA. Um, the application is available on the Ag and Markets website. Um, if you look under um, Ag, you know, if you look under Gap for Growers, um, under Ag and Markets website, you should find the application for this. Um, so this is actually also a really helpful um, project for many growers, I think. Um, so that's what I have for this month. Um, join me again next month, where I will review um, any additional grants that are upcoming. And let me just flip back really quickly. If you have questions, um, once again, my name is Elizabeth Higgins. You can reach me at emh56 at cornell.edu or by um, phone at 518-949-3722. I have to admit, if it's a technical question, I prefer getting it by email or by text just because it gives me a chance to look things up rather than um, I could be in the car driving around and wouldn't really be able to answer your question if you call me on the phone. Um, so with that, hopefully I'll see some of you in February or, you know, on the website.